Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Easter, so happy Easter to those who celebrate. To those who don't, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a good weekend here in Tennessee. Yesterday was yucky and rainy and like 50 degrees. Today is almost 70 and sunny, and it was just a perfect day to get out and have fun with the family. Anyways, hope you're all having a good weekend. I want to do a disclaimer real quick. Jesse got a really loud toy for Easter from his grandparents, and Devin and him and Sissy June are in there playing with it, so you can probably hear it. It's like a flying ball drone thingy <laughs> and it goes all over the place anyways today is a stitch your library i haven't done one of these in forever and um i was thinking yesterday what was this no friday <laughs> that i want to try to do more videos because i've been slacking a lot lately and i know i have a good like excuse having a, a one-year-old is a pretty good excuse to not be productive but uh i miss doing videos and i love making content for you guys uh your own content and i love crocheting the things for it you know that's why I love doing the national holiday videos too, is because I like making the different little amigurumis and things. But so I pulled, I went to my uh, shelf in the living room. It's got all my amigurumi books, well, my crochet books. Most of them are amigurumi books. Um, and I was just kind of flipping through, and I pulled out this one, and it's called Hooked on Amigurumi 40 Fun Patterns for Playful Crochet Plushes. And it's by Melanie uh, Morita. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure. She is the same one that makes the ones with plants, the crochet plants. I'm not sure, but I feel like that she is. <laughs> Anyways, I'll link this book down below. I'll try to find it. Uh, I know it's probably on Amazon, but I'll try to see if it's on thrift books or anywhere else, and I'll link it below so you, if you want to purchase it, you can. It's got a whole bunch of cute little amigurumis. I've made this little soy sauce before. I think that's all I've made out of here. I think so. But anyways, Jesse, my almost seven-year-old, is currently obsessed with anything Japanese. He got into anime recently, and that just led him down like a spiral of loving everything Japanese. So he's constantly talking about it, and I'm actually going to try to find a like a unit study. We homeschool him. Um, based around Japanese stuff, just to help teach him a little bit more about the culture. As much as, you know, a seven-year-old can learn about, you know, just uh, basic things. And he's really wanting to try sushi. <laughs> so I was flipping through this book uh, yesterday when I was deciding to try to do a stitch your library and there's a section in it called bento box so it's got all these asian themed foods i love the little the cookie even though fortune cookies are american things but uh and a little dumpling a <laughs> little dumpling but um i remembered i had made the soy sauce before but there was also three different little sushis so there's this one right here and then there's two right here so i thought i would make those for him because he loves stuff like that so much right now so I went to my scrap bucket which is now in the bedroom because June has learned to climb on top of it and she'll climb up on it and stand on it and it worries me you know that she's gonna fall so it's in here now and it's got our shampooer on it <laughs> so we're right there <laughs> I try to use to sit and film videos in here anyways I'm sidetracking do you hear them in there so the first one I made was let me turn to it I got it marked with yarn it's called Sam the Spam Masubi? I don't know if that's how you say that right. But I didn't put the faces on here because I thought he might want to play with them pretending that it's actual sushi instead of little characters. So here's the first one. I pulled out all scrap yarns um, for this. So it's just red heart white and black. And this is I think a red heart color. I can't remember what it's called but it's like a salmon pink. It kind of looks orange because of the lighting. But it's like a salmon pink. And I don't know if it's a like coral something or something like that. Because I don't have like a ball band of it. It's just a scrap uh floppy skein so there's the first one it's made in three parts so i think the white part no you make the pink part first and then the white part and then the black part and you attach it together like that and what i did is i sewed the pink onto the white a little bit i just did some like tacking just so it doesn't like fall off but so it still kind of comes up you know like it's a real piece of meat on there and then the black thing you're supposed to make it in a, a um a chain and then like connect it and I stink at doing that. I always like twist it and mess it up. So I just made the chain the length and I just did the rows and then I just put it around it and then just sewed it together and then went through and like stitched it on. So I think it's pretty good. But it turned out huge. <laughs> I think the book calls for, um, let's see, it calls for worsted weight yarn and a 3.5 millimeter. So mine's only a little bit bigger, I guess, because I used worsted weight and a 3.75. So I used F hook, I think. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the one with the little mouse on it. <laughs> so, um, not just a smidge bigger, I guess, but it's cute. So, that's the first one. And then the second one that I made, get my 
my little bookmarks right here is I don't know how to say that. <laughs> ERI, Airy, the shrimp, uh, Niguri, Niguri. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, but here it is. It has a little shrimp on top of it. I feel like this orange may be too bright of an orange, but I didn't have like a carroty orange in my scrap bucket, so I had to use this like hot orange. But uh, this was be like a little scoop of rice, rice ball, and this is a shrimp, I guess. Or two shrimps maybe i'm not sure <laughs> i guess it's a shrimp um but again it's just red heart white and this is red heart pumpkin i believe uh i wish i had had some of the carrot by red heart because it's like the the right dark color uh but it's still cute and i think he'll still love it and again it's just kind of tacked on there so that it still kind of comes up like it's really sitting on there but uh it won't come off really quick i made all these in the same time though i sat down and made all three of them <laughs> and then the third one is Suki the sushi row. <laughs> this is a huge sushi row. I've seen sushi. I don't eat sushi because I don't, I, one, I don't like fish at all. And I don't think I'd like raw fish. And I don't like seaweed. I've tried seaweed and I don't like it. Anyways, here's the sushi row. <laughs> it's like a hockey puck. <laughs> but um, I pulled all these little scrap balls out for the, the insides. And then this is rice and I just said it. Seaweed. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't remember what this is all supposed to be. It's like a cucumber. I don't know. Uh, some meat. Does it say? <laughs> I'm sure it does. But anyways, it's cute. On, on the book, they all have eyes, you know, and they're supposed to be like cute little kawaii type things. But again, I just made them more realistic looking. <laughs> as much as a yarn sushi giant roll can be. Uh, so that he can, you know, play pretend with them. And um, I got a feeling he might want more of these. But they were really quick. They worked up super fast. They all only have a little bit of stuffing in them. And the fish isn't even stuffed, and neither is the spam. Um, so, but they're so, so cute. I haven't even showed them to him. I kept them real secret because I knew if I showed them to him, he'd want them. So, I, I ever, as a finished one, I hid it in my yarn stash in there where I sit in the living room. And because I wanted to make sure I got this video done before he got a hold of them. But I think they're cute. I love how big this turned out. It's so funny. Because I, I have seen these in real life, and they're not this big. <laughs> but there's his little sushis. So he can play pretend with them. He wants to go out and eat sometime and try them in real life. I don't know if he's going to like them, but the only way he's ever going to know is if he tries them. So we do have a, um, we have a bunch of Asian restaurants around here. One of them I really love, but it's like an American Asian. It's not like authentic, but there is one in the town next to us that is authentic. And, um, we want to try to take him there one of these days. And if we can get someone to watch the baby, because that would be like a hassle. <laughs> But I think he would really enjoy trying the different foods if he would. Uh, they got a lot of different chickens, so I think he would be pretty good. That'd be like a comfort food, you know, for him to try chickens and the noodles that they have. Um, and then maybe he will try. Devin eats sushi sometimes, so maybe he could get him to try a little bit. So, um, I don't know. But anyways, that's out of this book. <laughs> I'll link it below. It is a nice book. I like, there's another thing here I want to make soon for June, actually. Let me flip to it. They got her TV show on in there. Right here, I want to make her the little peanut butter and jelly jars because there's a song that she loves <laughs> that is the peanut, peanut butter and jelly song. And I think it'd be fun, you know, to puppet it with her and sing that. And also, Jesse also does love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He makes them by himself. He'll go in the kitchen and get the peanut butter and the jelly. Okay, I got interrupted by Jesse and I can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about him going to make his own sandwiches, but he'll get everything out and make it himself. The other day, he, we were out of bread. And he ended up making it on a hamburger bun. I thought it was so funny. But he still ate it. So it was just it's cute that he'll go in there and make it all by himself. And eat it. But anyways, that's the whole side thing. So this was my Stitcher library something. I don't... It's been a real long time since I've done one of these. So I, I don't remember what number it is. But I will look it up and it'll be in the title. But anyways, if you want to check out this book, I'll link it. I'll try to link it a few different places below. And uh, I like it a lot. I'm pretty sure all of them made so far is the soy sauce. And now those three sushis. I do want to make the peanut butter and jelly and I like this little like potion bottle <laughs> and um, there's also just a cute little here's another picture I think this has more of the I think this will have everything it's got like everything I think so now I like this little uh, sunny side up egg and there was something else that I was, when I was flipping through I was really wanting to make I can't remember now Oh yeah, the cinnamon roll. You see up here? I love cinnamon rolls. 
But these are all cute little patterns. I don't know if I saw 40 of them. I could count them, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'll link it below if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go give these to him and see if he likes them. And I might insert a couple pictures of Easter that we did here of the kids. Um, or I might not. I don't know. <laughs> if you see them, they'll be there. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video hopefully soon. I'm trying to get back into making videos a little bit more often <laughs> than once a week. Because I like chatting with y'all more than once a week. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.